Thanks once again for joining me, folks, whether you're on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, wherever you may be. Bill Mack here with another edition of Pro Wrestling Unleashed. Glad you could join me, folks, as I give you the results from GFW Impact for August the 10th, 2017. This is the go-home show leading up to next week's GFW Destination X that will be live. Um, so we're looking forward to that, and tonight is going to be a good show, so... Let's just get right into the results. Uh, up first, we have Sienna basically making her appearance in the middle of the ring, and she's demanding for Karen Jarrett to let her know who her opponent is going to be at Destination X as she doesn't have one. So then Karen Jarrett comes into the ring, and she lets Sienna know that Gil Kim will be her opponent, who she will be facing at Destination X. And we've seen Gil Kim come in last week to kind of try to help out Allie and whatnot during their um, during that big mess of a this with the women's division or the knockouts division that they had going on last week. Uh, so getting they ended up brawling, and we had security that had to go out there and and get them to separate them. So Gil Kim taking on Sienna will be, is officially a match at Destination X. Up next we have a tag team matchup. We have Phantasma and Mara Fuji taking on Garza Jr. and Laredo Kid. This is a pretty good, fast-paced uh, match. A lot of, you know, nice moves and stuff, which you would expect typical from the uh, the X Division. But the ending comes when Mary Fuji ends up hitting the sliced bread on Garza Jr. and getting the three count. So Phantasma and Mary Fuji end up defeating Garza Jr. and Laredo Kids. So I always like the X Division matches. They put on really good moves, and like I said, that's why a whole lot, a whole lot of detail because there's so many different kinds of moves they do, but. Good match uh, all together. Up next, we have Congo Kong now and taking on Grado and Joseph Park. And remember, this has been a feud that's been going on for a while. Grado has to stay in America. He wants to get in. Joseph Park has convinced him that he needs to get married. Laura Van Ness has been a mess since her all being left at the altar, and so she fit, she fits the candidate that Grado is looking forward to trying to ask to marry her. Well, they went on dates, and he tried to ask last week, so Congo Kong has interrupted every single time before she's given an answer. Well, this was pretty much a squash match, uh, just to tell you. I mean, Joseph Park and and um, and Grado were no, were no competition for Congo Kong. Congo Kong flattened him in this matchup, and the ending comes when Congo Kong ends up, ends up hitting the Rolling Thunder, on two park when he's in the corner and getting the win. Now after the matchup that wasn't enough. Congo Kong attacked it Grotto and then he was about to hit the flying splash off the top onto both guys and then Laura Vaness comes in and stops him from doing it. Then she slaps him so he picks her up and grabs her but then all of a sudden Tyrus comes out and Tyrus stands face to face with Congo Kong right, right, looking right at him like he's not backing down. And Laura Vanessa somehow convinces Congo Kong to leave the ring and follow her. So, you know, this is, looks like it's going to be a good feud. Whether it's going to be as Destination X, I'm not sure. But, uh, anyways, um, it's going to be good regardless. Uh, two big men battling. I'd like to see that. Tyrus hasn't had any feuds or nothing in a while, so it'll be good to have him in a feud if they choose to go in that direction because that's just till Tyrus he is. And later on in the. Uh, show they ask him you know why'd he come out there and he said you know he's old-fashioned you know and he, he was like well there's only uh, in the bullying game there's only one bully in this company and that's me and I ain't gonna Kong Kong ain't got nothing on me that's what he told him later on when they interviewed him and asked him how come he um, he did that so this looks like this is gonna be good backstage we see the ever beautiful Mackenzie Mitchell she's interviewing Trevor Lee Lowkey and Lashley and it's a it's a three man a six man tag match tonight the main event and these three guys are half of it and you start hearing each one kind of be right and put down and cut a promo on the one that they're facing at Destination X that are all three happen to be on the other side of the ring tonight that they're going to be facing so Bobby Lashley made it clear to Trevor Lee and like you said I'm not your you're not my friends and you just better stay clear out of my way when I'm there so. He's just kind of letting him know himself uh, who who who's who who he is and 
what his intentions are. Not there to make friends. Then we come back and we see uh, Dutch Mantell. He makes he sits down with Lashley and Seidel, and they get a little more in depth about their reasons for the shot versus shot match that they're going to have at Destination X. So whoever wins will get the shot of their choosing, whichever title they decide to choose to go after. So this is going to be kind of a David versus Goliath kind of story that I would see. But it, it'll put a, I think it'll be a good match. Both guys are very athletic, different styles, which fits really good for a matchup. Up next, we have a street fight. This is for the uh, unified tag team titles. You have LAX, you got um, you, you, know, hom you got Homicide, and you got San Ortiz, and, or excuse me, Ortiz and Santana facing um, the Veterans of War. As you remember last week, they had to come out after Alberto El Patron and them got attacked. The family got attacked, and they helped make the save. So tonight we got um, we got with uh, with uh, Will Will um, Wilcox and Witherspoon, I think is his name. Uh, it's Crimson, who it is. And sorry about that stutter. I'm just, I was trying to remember what his name was. But he comes out and basically VOW dominate the first part of the matchup. I mean, they were just too powerful. But as always, when it's an LAX match, numbers are always uh, a factor. And they were in this one. Uh, Diamante comes in at one point, interferes with the matchup. That's what changes the tide. LAX comes in. They handcuff Crimson to the to the ring. He he can't get out, and they just beat on Will Cox, double teaming him. They put him through a table, and they get the win. So LAX still reigns supreme as tag team champions going into Destination X. So I don't know if they have a, a matchup, but I'll get more back to that whenever I release my Destination X predictions uh, video. So we see backstage, we have Seidel, and we have Dutt, Sanjay Dutt and Alberto El Patron, and they're talking about the six-man matchup coming up and what's going on. So now we kind of hear both sides and what both teams are thinking about uh, leading into their matchup. We have, a, we have the Super X Cup's other semifinal matchup. This week we have Ishimori taking on ACH. This was a good matchup. I, you know... He hit Ishimori hit this weird like power bomb onto uh, on the knees, and then he ends up hitting a springboard 450, followed by another top rope 450 splash onto ACH, and he gets the win. It was a good competitive match, and then so we see the finals are set up for Destination X. We're going to have Ishimori taking on Desmond Xavier. And that'll be in the finals. So look forward to that matchup next week. That'll be a good match uh, to watch. Both guys put on a good show for this matchup. As a hard mat fault matchup, good 10 minute plus matchup. So I think these guys put on a really good show uh, for tonight's match. Finally, the main event comes a six man tag match. We've got Lashley, we got Loki, and we got Trevor Lee taking on Sanjay Dutt, Matt Seidel, and uh, GFW champion. Alberto El Patron. This was a good matchup. I thought um, it was a lot of back and forth. Seidel took a lot of punishment in. The heels basically controlled much of the matchup as when Sanjay got tagged in. He had a little offense, but then it was back wearing him down. Alberto El Patron did come in a little bit, try to clean up what little bit of garbage in the ring with these guys and what he could do. We see end up that Bobby Lashley ends up taking, and Sanjay gets caught in the um, in the power slam by Bobby Lashley, and then we see Loki, which is the newest member of LAX, take hit the Warriors' way, cover Sanjay, and get the win. So the heels end up reigning supreme in tonight's main event, and we see a lot of jawing going back and forth between Alberto El Patron. And between and 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 Sanjay Dutt uh, towards Bobby Lashley and Trevor Lee and Loki. So I thought this was a good solid show where we see the storylines progressing even more. So it wasn't a start and stop kind of thing. I'm just anxious to see who LAX is going to face. And like I said, folks, uh, catch my next video. I should be dropping the next day or so. It's going to because of within the week's time. Uh, Destination X will be will be on next Thursday.
live. So look forward to seeing that, and I should pump my video out for that. So until then, I hope you enjoy my video. If you do, please drop a like on the video, so share this video, subscribe to my channel if you have it. I try to give you the best videos I can. I hope you enjoy it, and until next time, this is Bill Mack. Take it easy.